Hi everyone, this is Judy, and today I'm going to explain how I made this. It's no tutorial, just explain how I made everything. The paper here is from this paper pad. It's the mixed media. It's the eight and a, um, five and a half by eight and a half inch paper. You can use this for acrylic, water, watercolor pen and pencil paper so that's what I painted the background of this on there with and I took how I painted the background here this was the white paper that came out of here it's for I used watercolor paint and I just painted the background for this and um, I painted this supposed to be like the sand and this supposed to be like the water and this is the sky with some clouds and I use this paint here this is water watercolor paint I use this one here and it comes with 28 colors and I get this from Michaels and it's the Michael brand it's an artist law water pan set comes with 28 colors and it's Michaels brand water colors pan set that's what I painted the background on the paper I made this look like the sand of the beach and this look like the water and this the sky and I use these kind of paint brushes here to paint the background and I get the paper I gotta always keep the paper so I know you get you get a lot of different size is a paintbrush and this is the crafter's choice these are crafter's choice and I don't know I think I got these at um, Michaels and it shows you how to do some of the how to use some of the paintbrushes on the back and you get how many paint brushes? You get a pretty good amount of paint brushes. You get two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. It's fourteen paint brushes in here, and it's in the brand is Crafter's Choice. And I think I got these at Michaels. So that's the paint brushes that I painted the background on. And um, the images are from, the images are cut out with the Cricut Joy. These images here, the lighthouse, daydream, the snorkel swimmer, the palm tree, and the beach chair and the sand castle <clears throat> was cut out with the Cricut toy was cut out with this machine here and the images here are from you have to log in to Cricut design space and these are all the images that I use that I put on here, Daydream, the lighthouse, the snorkel, palm tree, the chair, sand castle, and all these images here is from Life is a Beach, and I'll show you. I'll go back to where I'll go back and show you how I got to it.
and you can either buy them. I think you can buy. I already own the image set, so I didn't have to buy them. I already have them. But if you don't have them, you have to purchase them. Or let me see if I can find it. Where is life? Is beach? I think I'll pass it. And I think I keep passing it. These are all the ones that I own here. And I'm trying to look for life as a beach. Okay, it's this one here. This is the, and I got them images from here. Life is a beach right here. Right there is life is beach, and they get up. You get, I think it's like 300 and some images on there, and it's got all these images here. This is a lot of beach images. If you want to do like a beach theme, like I did, yeah, you get a lot of beach images. And that's all the images there that I use that I cut out with the Cricut Joy. And I can um, tell you the numbers to it in case you want to do the same, use the same on yours. The Lighthouse number is hashtag M3293E. And then the beach chair here is hashtag M35A77 and then daydream here would be hashtag M34648 and then the snorkel swimmer here is hashtag M331B6 and then the palm tree here would be hashtag M31ECE and then the sand castle here is M3368 -E. and that's the number if you you just want to punch search the number that would be the number that you would punch in the search you would um if you were going to do a new project I'm going to just raise this because this is the ones that I put on here I'll show you how you search it. Okay, say you 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 just want to punch in the number to find the daydream one. You would punch in. You would go up to search and Cricut Design Space. You would search it and you would push the hashtag. Let me go see if I can find it. You put push the little number sign right there. Oop, I'll push the name. Okay, you would do you're gonna do daydream. You would do hashtag and then you would punch in the number that I told you. You would capitalize the M, capitalize the M, 
and then you would punch in 346 346 four eight and then you would you would um search for it you would search for it and it would pop up and there it would be right there so all you really have to do is just use the number that I told you just punch it in like I did here I don't know if I can make it bigger. No. You punch in a number and then it would find it for you. So that's how I did this. And this is some really good watercolor paint. And it's not really light. That's how I painted the background on mine. Mixed media paper here. And this is some really good paper here. You can get it in different sizes. This is what I use for a lot of times when I'm going to either acrylic paint or watercolor paint. And what I like about these pages, you can you can rip them out. I got like where you can tear them out right here. And yeah, it's it's pretty good. I would never be able to draw a swimmer or whatever, so that's why I use the Cricut Joy to do that part for me but the background was easy to do so I could do that and I hope that you you all like it and I hope you if you got a Cricut I hope you get out your little Cricut this little Cricut Joy is a nice one to have if you're only going to do like some small cutouts or whatever or you can even do poster boards with it cut out letters and all you can put like little designs on your t-shirt or whatever and yeah it's a pretty nice machine to have this Cricut Joy I just got this a few months ago and I've been using it like crazy and I hope you all like like my little beach theme I don't know if I'm gonna put this maybe in a little frame probably in a little frame maybe for my daughter for that says daydream she likes to daydream about the beach who doesn't like to daydream about the beach <laughs> but yeah that's how I did my background I did it with the watercolor and then I cut these images out with the Cricut Joy all the images like I said are from life is a beach and I also gave you the numbers that way you can punch them in and you can listen to the video here and you can go and search for the image if you want to do something like this and you can just take and put these in a frame and they're really cute because this is a really small one you can get bigger papers but this is the size that I want I have larger paper pads I have a 9 by 12 I got different sizes of them but I wanted to do a smaller one and I think it turned out pretty good. So that's my little Cricut, Cricut and Mortar Color Painting project that I did. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And have a blessed day. And thank you for stopping in. And thank you for watching. Bye bye.